Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number three from the January 2023 International A Level Pure Mathematics P1 exam. Um, this is from Edexcel. This question here we have to integrate this expression, which is like this fraction, with respect to x, giving your answer in simplest form. Now, something like this for us to integrate. Now, one of the common mistakes that people make is they will integrate the numerator and the denominator separately and just write the answer down, you know, like that. And that's completely wrong. You have to express these as separate terms and then integrate each term separately. And uh, that's how you answer such a question. So the first thing we do is we split this up into separate fractions. So I'm going to take 4x squared plus 3 over, sorry, 4x to the power of 5 plus 3 over 2x squared. And I'm going to split it into two separate fractions. So this is like 2x, 4x to the power of 5 over 2x squared plus 3 over 2x squared. And then I'm going to simplify each of these terms. So the 4 and 2 cancel out, leaving with 2. And you have x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 3. So you have two numbers in index form with the same base, which is x. So you subtract the powers, you have x to the power of 3. Okay, we know that x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 2 is x to the power of 3. We subtract the powers. So this gives you 2x cubed. And here we have plus. Now, this is like 3 over 2. Now, I want to express the x squared in the numerator. I don't want it into the denominator, right? So you can think of 3 over 2x squared as being 3 over 2 times 1 over x squared. It's the same thing as that. And 1 over x squared, if you want to express it in the numerator, it's like x to the power of minus 1. So this is like 3 over 2 times x to the power of minus, minus 2, sorry. The power, which is in the denominator, is written in the numerator with a negative power. That's from our, our understanding that 1 over x to the power of n is the same as x to the power of minus n, which is reciprocal. Right, so those are some of the laws of indices that we need to be very familiar with when we are doing integration and also differentiation in terms of preparing something for being integrated and differentiated. So it's something that's very important and it's in chapter one of the book for the Edexcel um, syllabus. It goes through some detail in this and a lot of students skip that first chapter. A lot of teachers skip that first chapter because they think it's too basic. But then it causes problems with these topics when students are not fluent with the rules. So it's very important that you understand those rules and you apply them very carefully. So now what we've done is we've prepared this expression to be integrated. Now I can integrate this as 2x cubed plus 3 over 2x to the power of minus 2 with respect to x. Now I can integrate this very easily and it's like we're integrating each term separately. Okay, integrating the first term and then the second term separately. We don't we don't write down integral of 2x cubed with respect to x plus the integral of 3x to the power of minus 2 with respect to x. We don't have to do that, but we just integrate each term separately. So we add 1 to the power, so it becomes 2x to the power of 4 divided by the new power. And same here, we add 1 to the power, so you have 3x to the power of minus 1 divided by the new power, which is minus 1, so you multiply the denominator by minus 1. Okay. So then don't forget the plus c because it's an indefinite integral. You're writing a plus c that could have been there that when you differentiate it, disappears. So you have to put plus c at the end of these indefinite type of integrals. So this gives me a half x to the power of 4. And this gives me this 2 times minus 1 is negative. So it will be a negative term. 3 over 2 x to the power of minus 1 plus c. And there's our answer. Okay, we could, if we want to, also express this as a half x to the power of 4 minus 3 over 2x plus c, because that x to the power of minus 1 can be written in the denominator. I can also write this as x to the power of 4 over 2 if I want to. Whichever way, that's fine. Okay, but, you know, this is, if you leave your answer like this, it's perfectly good, and you'll get the full marks for it. So don't forget, the common mistake people make is they integrate the numerator and the denominator separately. No, you can't do that. You have to express them as separate terms, split up into two separate fractions, separate terms, and then integrate each separate term, each term separately. And then you get your answer, simplify it, and don't forget the plus C. So there's your answer for question number three from this P1 
January 2023 exam. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear. The link will appear over here. The link for the topic of integration from P1 will appear in this section here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And the video that you should see appearing over here will help you to navigate my material and find things that will help you to revise and find things you need quicker. Thank you for watching and see you soon.